305, donde surgen los campeones. Still have fights where the champions rise. Here in Hialeah, Sir Jim with our 305 fights champion, one of the champions of the night. And 305 fights number nine, young man, tell everybody who you are. I'm Andrew Bambino Barrios, coming out of Dade County, baby. I was saying that one, but Mr. Bambino came to 305. I knew who's going to represent South Florida in 305 because he's got that Dade County Reservoir Dog energy. And, um, and he brought it. He brought it to 305 fights number nine in the fight. You brought the dog to the fight. You got the results. How did that fight feel? It felt good. It felt, it felt like it was in God's hands, if you ask me. You know, everything happened like that. I was expecting a big bar or whatnot, but, you know, God took care of the situation, so we win. Excellent. Yeah, we talked about this earlier. I was expecting a good fight, a good bra, a good technical fight, because you both are technicals. And what I saw, and what we're talking about is, I don't know if it was the striking or when you went to the ground, I think mentally the reservoir dog took advantage of the situation and ended the fight. You said something that I didn't catch, which is good. On the way down, he extended your arms. He extended his arm, man. Yeah, which you never do, because then what happens? You pop your shoulder out. That's right. You hurt your arm. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that's something technical that was good that we bring it up. So people that are listening, you know, we're, we're communicating, entertaining, and we're educating. Anytime you're going to go to the ground on the floor, you never stick your arms out. because, Well, like they say in grappling, an extended limb is a broken limb. Yeah, you do that in nebio. You do that by rope caída. That's when you're training. In a fight, you take all the hits. Correct. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So that's a technical... And, and, and talk about technical, he's talking about transitioning your technique, your martial arts technique, your MMA technique, transitioning to the fight, yeah. the octagon. Yeah. That is a total different story. I was talking about how you've done that very well. I was talking about how you fought for the title already. And you know, I mentioned, I mentioned again, you fought to the title again. It didn't come out your way, but I love what you did. And that's the quality of a champion. You went back, you trained, you practiced. You kept the attitude. No, I think you actually you improved your attitude, and you came back, and you got the title. That's what it's about. What do you think about that? I still want that fight before. I still want that rematch. Bobby. Okay, make the call out. Carlos Guerra, so es 145, si quiere, Bobby. So he's calling out Carlos Guerra to 145. Um, he wants it. But you see that energy? That's McGregor's coach, Kavanaugh. He says, win or learn. That's the energy of a champion. Esa es la energía de un campeón. That's why when we talked about it. How do you rise? You rise with that attitude. Sube con esa actitud. No importa si te cae, no importa si te levanta, te agarran los. And on top of that, we don't, we don't select our fights here. Que venga. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Que venga. You know what's funny? I say in my martial arts, I don't train for a fighter. I train for a fight. Because yeah. let's say, even in the pros, there's a last minute constellation and somebody steps in. Or let's say they call you when you're a pro and it's the UFC title. And you weren't ready. You're going to say no or are you going to step up? I'm going to do that whole it must be all shit. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. That's right. There you go again. Talking about that, uh, let me talk a little bit about, about you, uh, the Bambino. So people know, tell us about your family. You have any sisters, brothers, fathers? I got an older brother. Yeah, but he's married now. He got his own life and everything. So, you know, it's different. Excellent. Where, where are your people from? My people are from Cuba. Off of it. <laughs> a County. Excellent. So, again, we have that... Cuban, Cuban-American, Dade County thing going on. And you know what we talked about? The UFC tonight, the UFC in Abu Dhabi, Fight Island, we have the 305, South Florida represented, and Omar Morales from Venezuela. So we have a Latino from 305 in the UFC. Yeah, I think that's awesome. What do you think? I think it's good. He's going to represent and do his thing. You know? Correct. And you know what? He's got that 305 energy where he's... Another dog, another reservoir dog. And we talked about you combine that with improving your tactics, your strategy and technique. Going on from here, uh, tactically, what are you going to be working on more? The striking, the grappling, the locking, the submission? Um, to be honest with you, like I told you, I'm just stirring the pot right now. My coach is completely in charge of that, you know what I mean? He always knows what I need. He always knows, he always knows the best, you know? So I'm ready for whatever. I train everything, everything. I don't train for one thing. I train for every single thing. You get what I'm saying? Because in the cage, you can be in any single situation. Anything that, can happen. Awesome. You, you, can get, you can get rocked in the chin and fall down, get back up. You can get caught in the arm bar. Your arm's about to break, but you get out. You know what I mean? It could be all tight. Yeah, you're, you're, you're getting the toolbox ready. All the tools in the toolbox. And we, all we, we really practice scenarios. Every single scenario you could be in in the cage, we practice it. Excellent. I love that type of training. I call it scenario-based training. That's awesome. Tell me a little bit about you growing up, the schools you went to. Uh, I went to Miami High. 
which is right there in Dade County, in Little Havana. Uh, my dad's been a truck driver his whole life, so I was always in the shop with him, doing all types of things with trucks. Uh, I turned 17 and I started doing plumbing, and I'm doing plumbing to this day, and I'm actually fighting now. So, you know, I'm going to lift off with this fighting shit. Awesome. It's okay. I love it. I, lo I love it. You know, you know, we talked about it before. McGregor was a plumber. Yeah, yeah. And he grew up what they call blue collar working, hustling. Yeah, yeah. To be honest with you, I consider myself an old soul. If you look at my Instagram, it says old soul because I wish I was born in the mid 70s so I could live through the 80s. That's why I got Tony Montana on my left. You know <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's great because you know what? You got that, that general mentality. Yeah. Being a, a capo, being... Well, if you want something, you go and get it. You go and get it. You make it. Yeah, yeah that's what I say. That's why we're champions, right? Donde suen los campeones. Um, and, that, you know, that's so involved with the culture here in 305. You know, I try to tell people, explain to them that it's a, we, we say 305 is a culture, it's a movement. It's hard for them to understand, you know. I'm looking at your San Lazaro here. You know, we got a chung or goon going on. You know, and that's all an energy that we bring to these techniques and tactics that we call mixed martial arts. Yes, sir. I, how do you think it's, the scene is happening in South Florida with mixed martial arts? I think, you know, there's a lot of fighters, a lot of upcoming fighters. You know, it just it's day by day. When you step in the cage, you got to do what you got to do. And every man for his own, you know. Obviously, you got your team, and you got to unite. When you're a team, you got to be a family and grow. You know what I mean? But it's every man for themselves when you step in that cage. You know what I mean? uh, shout out to your team. Let's give a shout out to your team. Shout out to my coach, Sergio Garcia. Shout out to Franklin Torres at Trang. You already know. Shout out Zeku. Shout out the whole Sir Jim fam. You already know how we coming. Excellent. We're also talking about that, uh, uh, what's happening worldwide with Bellator and the UFC. We, like I told you, we have, we have Fight Island in Abu Dhabi. We have a Latino representative. We have Barbosa fighting. Yep. I like Barbosa style of fighting. And, and kicks and kicks. That's and right, them kicks, them leg kicks set everything up. So we'll hopefully see some of those Bambino leg kicks come, <laughs> coming up. Yeah, I like that combination, going to the leg and then coming up to the head. <inaudible> Correct. You talked about Esanya, he just beat Paulo Costa. Paulo Costa. I, I predicted that. You know, everybody that asked me about it, it's like, Paulo Costa doesn't even have the chin for Adesanya. You know what I mean? He could be big and all that, but once you catch that pocket, it's a different story. Let me ask you, they just announced McGregor, and I know you sometimes they call you McGregor, is fighting. Dustin Poirier. What know? do you think about that? McGregor. What do you mean? McGregor, he adapts. McGregor makes yeah. it happen, and he doesn't take his eyes off. Let me thank you. I think, I think it's going to be a great fight. I'm glad that he's fighting somebody that's... Wow. Dustin did beat Justin Gleechy. Let's not forget. Yeah. Straight hands. That's hard. So that's what I'm telling you. I like He adapted differently as a fighter. Before he even fought McGregor, it was a different fighter to what he is now. Right now, his stand-up is nasty, but I still have full faith in McGregor. That's, that's what I see. I see he's going to finally fight a guy that's top two, top one, that is going to really challenge for, yeah. for he's getting challenged. Yeah. He's a great striker, like you said. Only reason I'm picking McGregor is he finds it. McGregor's striking is different. Ma that he finds it. finds it. McGregor applies something that I believe that we, that when we teach professionals in natural motion system, he picks the angles. He's not just striking or fighting. He's right. His fighting IQ. If he brings his fight IQ, also if he's training, mm -hmm. you know, because he's making hundreds of millions of life, he can't fall into the lifestyle. If he falls into the lifestyle, he's done. He's done. Yeah. So a lot of exciting things happening. Oh, he kind of did though, a little bit. Yeah, a little, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. But that's good. You know what? I love that. Sometimes you fall, you, gotta, yeah. you fall, and you get up. Listen, I'm from the '80s. And you get up even harder. Let me say, I'm from the '80s. You would fall, and you had to get back up. And that's part of the game, and you come up even harder. Yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah. that's that Dade County style, right there. That's right. That's right. You know what? And Masvidal is going to, they're talking about Masvidal is going to fight. Who is it? Who's going to fight? Who's going to fight? I don't remember. D. Colby? Yes, sir. He. That's going to be a, but at the end of the day, I got full faith in Hoy Masvidal because that, that boy from Dade County, he got the monster hands. Colby, yeah, he's a great fighter, great wrestler, but he's nothing for Hoy. He's nothing for Hoy. I tell you, I think that's going to be another interesting fight. Yeah. About, uh, before this fight, Kobe just had a fight. What happened with Usman? Usman didn't want to stand up with Jorge, but he stand up with Kobe. You know what right. I mean? Because story. I just I was in the gym, and and uh, Kobe was training in the gym, yeah. and I'll tell you that's gonna be an interesting fight because I think they have the skills, mm -hmm. I think they have the experience. Mm -hmm. Me, I think it's who's gonna show up to win, mentally, uh, will power wise, they count it, baby. and they who count applies it. their strategy. What I mean by that, let's say he wants a strike. If Mavi Dow changes from the striking to the grappling to a takedown, now, he has good wrestling, you know? But this is what I think. I think if Masvidal does the Masvidal 
Day County game plan, That's what I'm saying. he'll come out on top. Leon no come Leon, probably. Right. He, he cannot let uh, the other guy pull his, 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 his plan on him. Yeah, of course. Take yeah. him out of his game plan. Take him out of his mindset. He can't. Correct. So, estamos aquí en el 305 donde suben los campeones en Sir Jim en Hialeah con el Bambino. ¿Cuáles son tus contactos de medios sociales para que todo el mundo pueda apoyar el gimnasio, apoyarte a ti? Simple. Bambino MMA. And on top of that, follow my gym page. Our gym page, I apologize. Sir Jim MMA. Give us a follow. Check us out. Bien, porque tenemos campeones aquí que están representando los cubanos, los latinos, el 305. Eh, si no vas a 305.tv, para que veas las peleas, vamos a poner las peleas que acaban de ganar el título, vamos a apoyarnos juntos, vamos a llegar arriba. We're going to be putting the clips of your, this fight and all your fights. Uh, out of all your fights, which one you like the most? My first one with Danny Somoza. Yeah, the first one. Why do you like it, though? It was a real dog fight. Yes, it was. And you, and you know what? Young man, I got to congratulate you because Somoza is another fighter. You keep people with fighting talent like this, you're going to get better. Of course, of course. People, they think that that's what makes you better, and this is how you learn. I'm trying, to fight, I'm trying to fight people that fight. I'm not trying to fight people that are, you get what I'm saying? I'm trying to yeah. go in there and fight yeah. for real. And you know what? That makes you better. Yeah. So this surging attitude, this reservoir dog attitude. Fear no man, only fear God. That's right. And uh, shout out to uh, our executive producer, Lázaro El Negro Garcia. He always, he always says, the only man you have to fear is yourself because he's the only one that's going to hold you back. Amen, baby. And so he, he's Day County 305, 80, so you know, it sounds like that. Check out this young man. Check out 305 Fights TV. Vamos a ir a estos campeones. Vamos de 305. 305, 305 fights with the champions rise. So hello, campeones. Well, I'm not going to pick one by one. No, no particular person, whoever it is, it's whoever 305 fights wants to pick. I'm ready to defend the belt, and I'm going to defend the belt because I'm coming out dog mentality. So whoever's next, let's bring it. At 145. 145, baby. You, they're going to be the undefeated, undisputed. Wait on it. I you're promise. Re you're ready to defend it. So all, cha all challenges are welcome, correct? Yes, sir. Every single one. doesn't matter who it is. January 31st, Thriver Fights number 10. What do you got to say about that? Nothing. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to defend this belt. I'm ready to show you guys what I'm about. Yeah, I've had some ups and downs in this game, but this is what I'm about. I'm trying to show you what I'm destined to be, for real. Day County, baby. Day County. 305 Fights. Day County all day. God, I was going. The energy. How's it going? Tenía el santo montado. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! Bye, Did I mess it up? <laughs> no. Trio Fight Miami!